Hi, I'm Carrie. Next, I'm going to be making cheesecake. It's my friend John, his daughter's birthday this weekend, and she's requested cheesecake, so I'm going to be making a couple of cheesecakes for her. So first off, I have, I'm going to do the crust. In here I have the four cups of graham cracker crumbs, four tablespoons of sugar, and then this is a full cup of melted butter. So I'm just going to pour it in here. And I will let this mix up. So here's my pan that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray on the in the side of the pan. And then you press the um, graham cracker crumbs into the pan. I have it wrapped in foil because it's going to go into a water bath. So it's just assurance that it won't seep out or water leaks in or anything. So that's why it's wrapped in foil. I have the oven heated to 400. The crust will go in for about 10 minutes, and then we'll start on the cheesecake filling. So I'm mixing the filling right now, and in here I have four packages of eight ounces of cream cheese, a cup of sugar, and two and two thirds cups of sour cream. And you can mix this as long as possible. You don't have to worry, but when you add the eggs, that's when you're, you cannot overmix it. Don't overmix it. Um, you want to just incorporate it because if you overmix it, I believe the cheesecake can crack. So we're going to try and avoid that. Let's hope that it works. We'll cross our fingers. Um, now I'm going to add the vanilla. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. We just want to get, like I said, you can't over mix this part. It, it's fine. You can mix it for as long as you need to. Um, but then we'll add the eggs in just a minute. So now I'm going to add the four eggs. Like I said, we're not going to over mix. We're just going to make sure they're mixed in and incorporated. I'm using the paddle because I heard it's better and that it helps to prevent over mixing. I don't know if that's true, but we'll try it and see. So I'm just going to mix it for a minute or two, um, go a little bit. Okay. Okay, so it's mixed and now I'm going to fill my pan because I already took out the crust. So now I'm going to fill it with the filling. Like I said, this one's making two. So, if you don't want to make two, you would just cut the recipe in half. That's not going to be a problem. And then, I'm just trying to judge how much to add. I think this is good. And so now, it takes a while to cook, about close to an hour. So, I'm going to check it after about 45 minutes. Um, and it's set to 400 degrees. And we're going to put it in a water bath, too. So, just a minute, let me check or let me um, get that ready and I'll show you. So this is how it looks. It's in a pan that is filled with hot water. So this is how it's going to bake. So the cheesecake is in the oven. Um, we're crossing our fingers that it doesn't crack. I have the timer set for 45 minutes. I'll check it after that. Um, when you do get it out, it will still be, when it's ready, it'll still be a little jiggly. You want it to be because it will continue to cook. And plus, when you put it in the refrigerator, it'll firm up. So you'll see when I take it out. Hopefully, we can see it on the camera. Um, I think right now I'm going to take a break. It's been a long day. I've been baking almost all day. So I think I'm going to relax while it's baking. So here is a cheesecake. And it looks to be about ready. If you move it, I don't know if you can see, but it's jiggling slightly. They say the best way to bring it down to temperature is to turn the oven off and leave it inside the oven with the door open for an hour. That also prevents cracking. So we're gonna try that. So the cheesecake is chilled in the refrigerator all night. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, no crack, so it worked. So now I think I'm going to get in a quick workout, take a shower, get ready, and start the strawberry topping. So 
So I'm out of the shower and I have a little makeup on, so I'm more presentable now. I'm going to get started on the strawberry topping for one cheesecake. That was what was requested, one plain and one with strawberry topping. I also just wanted to tell you, too, that this cheesecake, it's a great base for other different ones. You can do, let's see, an Irish cream. So you would add like three tablespoons of Bailey's Irish cream. You could do an espresso one with some espresso powder. You could do a lemon one and add like a third cup of lemon, maybe even some lemon zest. It's a great base. So you can do so many things with it, just so many possibilities. So I'm gonna macerate the strawberries. That'll just make them a little bit sweeter. They're already pretty sweet, but I just wanna enhance it. So we're gonna take a quarter cup of sugar and just sprinkle it in. And then a tablespoon of lemon juice. Just dump it in and we'll mix it up. You're gonna to need to let this sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes. And then they'll be ready, they'll be sweeter. And they'll go on top of the cheesecake. And I'll also make a little bit of strawberry glaze just to enhance it as well. So I'll do that next. So I just mashed some strawberries, and this will be for our glaze. So now we're going to do the strawberry glaze, so we're going to get our mashed strawberries, place that in the pan, and then we're going to take, we're going to put this on probably the heat will be medium for right now, and we'll put in our quarter cup of water. and a tablespoon of cornstarch. And you're gonna bring this to a boil, and it'll boil for two minutes. So set your timer. Okay, so they boiled for two minutes and I stirred them often. Now the heat is off and I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar and a tablespoon of butter. And now we'll just stir until the butter melts and the sugar is incorporated. And then we'll let it cool for a little bit before we put it on the cheesecake. So I did the strawberry topping. I used the macerated strawberries. I haven't put the glaze on and I'm kind of determining whether I want to or not. Maybe just to um, give the glaze with the cheesecake if they decide to use it. I think it looks great just the way it is. I will show you. It's down a little. And my husband was kind enough to write happy birthday since he's one who has better penmanship, but I think it turned out beautifully. 